It's very exciting. I mean, we've been working on it a little while, but you know, sometimes you've got to be sure and be ready to, to, to publish. Um, but it's really footprints going back tens of thousands of years um, in the sand dune at Catalan Bay. And what's happening is as the dune moves, it's eroding all the time. It lifts certain surfaces. And some of our colleagues saw the potential in this. Um, and we found footprints of the animals that were contemporary with uh, those living in Gorham's Cave. So we have things like, uh, which might be recognizable to people today, like leopard, ibex, mm -hmm. uh, lynx, wild boar, uh, red deer, others that are now extinct, like straight, straight tusked elephant, which is a, a relative of the Indian elephant, the Asian elephant. Um, but among them, there's a human footprint. Now, it's, it's human. We know it's from, from the size, we, we calculate the stature about 1.6 to 1.26 meters, makes it an adolescent, possibly Neanderthal. Um, the date of that particular level is 29,000. It would be a very late Neanderthal, but it could be late Neanderthal or an early modern human, it's still under study. But either, either case, it's still very exciting to find a footprint going back 29,000 years ago. You know, you don't find many of those, but it shows you the potential that Gibraltar has, and uh, it's not just the caves, but there as well. And what's the significance of this particular discovery? Well, I think the significance is that it shows Gibraltar as a unique place in the world. It's already recognized by UNESCO, but this adds to it. It is a unique place in the world. I had a, a, a film crew this morning in, in Gorham's from, from the United States, and they were amazed and were saying, well, look, it's just that there is nothing like this anywhere in the world. This adds even more to it if we didn't have enough. I mean, this is an incredible piece of heritage that we have in Gibraltar. We should all be proud of. And um, the exciting thing with this new discovery, I suppose, is um, it helps to either confirm or dismiss uh, previously thought of theories uh, and the likes. How does this tally with information we, you and the team here have uh, come up with so far? No, at the moment, it seems to point in the same direction and it's supportive. And what we've always said, that that dune is sand accumulated from what was out, what is now the Mediterranean but that these animals were roaming around. I mean, if you can just, you know, you sit there by Catalan Bay and look up, you can imagine that a few thousand years ago there were elephants there. I mean, it's, it's pretty, you know, uh, big leap to, to, to actually see that, um, but to appreciate that. And uh, it, it fits in. Um, and I think that um, what this is going to do is allow us to expand that program, get more dates, uh, and fit it in, in keeping with what we're finding in Gorham's and Vanguard. And the other important thing is, of course, the technology is improving all the time mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be allowing us to do lots more things. One of the things we've started a project now with, with the German team in Max Planck, which is the leading team on, on genetics, is we've sampled now Vanguard and Gorham's cave for DNA in the sediment. Right. So now you don't even need to find a fossil. If, if a Neanderthal stood or sat in a place in Gorham's cave, we may be able to, the samples are now in Germany, wait six months or a year and we might have some results there. But if we can achieve that, well, can you can imagine what that would mean?